in three, two, one, go. The autonomous period has begun and the Beak Squad moves forward for the Red Alliance. The Mavericks placing that gear. There's a lot of tension on that spring. That spring potential has the potential to upset. And we have one second left. And the Blue Alliance able to get their first rotor moving. At the end of the autonomous period, Blue Alliance pulls ahead 75 to 15. 40-28 delivering a second gear to the Red Alliance airship. Blue Alliance airship now has its second rotor going and they're working on the third. They need three more gears aboard the Blue Alliance airship. Right now the Red Alliance has no rotors moving. Blue Alliance has two rotors moving and three gears on the third rotor. They need two more to get the third rotor moving. And 3260 flying across the field for the Blue Alliance, trying to deliver the fourth gear. Here's the fourth gear from the Blue Alliance, 3260. With the last gear the Blue Alliance needs to get that third rotor moving. Pilot installs the gear, and there it goes. Blue Alliance now up to three rotors, and they pull ahead to 160 points. Red Alliance not far behind with two rotors at 95 points, with just under a minute left to play. We've got another gear delivered to the Blue Alliance airship as the pilots try to take it off of the lift. 22.52, trying to load another gear. Looks like the lift is stuck on the Maverick robot. Can the pilot get it out of there? But there's the whistle. We are entering endgame, and here come the ropes. Red Alliance pulls ahead with three rotors spinning, 185 to 160. But with 15 seconds left to go, it's going to come down to who's ready for takeoff. Here comes 2252 trying to lift up to the touchpad. Contact, they've got to hold it up there for five more seconds. Anyone in the Blue Alliance, we have one contact ready for takeoff. Two, one. It was a close one and they're ready for takeoff. They're gonna get it by a nose, it's the Red Alliance. Red Alliance 235, Blue Alliance 210.